Okay, what we're going to do first in this second video is create two basic materials uh, and assign them to the firstly to everything. We'll assign one material to everything and then we'll select some individual objects to assign a glass material to. So we'll create a general white material and then a, a simple glass material. Okay, now what we use for this is the materials editor and the materials editor in 3D Studio has two versions okay the icon usually sits looking like this I'll let it I'll let it open the the editor okay now this is called the slate materials editor and to be honest it's a bit more it's a bit too complicated for what you generally need for architectural work now if you're creating a, a character that's got you know skin that's got all sorts of things happening through the skin and transparencies and all sorts of things then you really need to kind of program your materials in a in a more kind of structured way uh, I'll just show you what it looks like when we bring a, a material onto the to the workspace here okay and then if I, if I want to change some specific settings for that material I launch this side panel and I can adjust the materials uh, I can break off components and add them back on in a kind of a, a programming flowchart type way but as I say this is a bit over the top for for architectural work what we can use is one called the the slate sorry the compact materials editor so if I just close this and go back here and launch it from this icon instead this is the one that will stay there from now on okay you can see it takes a little bit of time to to bring the full library up uh, when you first start the software you would find that you probably can only see six materials okay and I'll just let you see what that looks like be three by two okay it takes a few seconds for this to catch up the materials editor is quite it's quite punishing it's quite hard work for the machine okay so this is six materials of 24 so this scrolls slowly okay once all the materials are loaded in it it does behave a bit better okay but I prefer to see the 24 materials so you go to options 6 by 4 apply okay and once again it takes a bit of time to bring them back up even though they were loaded two seconds ago now at this stage you kind of need to start trying to understand what we mean by renderers okay we've got kind of a scene builder here where we're putting things together okay we assign materials we add cameras and lights and any atmospheres and props and what have you but the final work the, the bringing together of all this is done by a renderer and at the moment we are set up to use the ART renderer okay so I just clicked on the render setup here so I could see which renderer is assigned and you can see here there's five renderers these are described in the attached PDF you can have a look there okay but the ART renderer stands for advanced ray tracing gives very good results with very few settings uh, and that's one of the beauties of it that people prefer because you don't have too many think too many complex settings to worry about okay so it's the renderer that does the final pull together okay now generally each renderer tends to have its own materials that are programmed for it okay and this is what makes it difficult to jump around between different software because you find that the materials aren't necessarily compatible between different pieces of software or even different renderers okay the ART renderer gets best results from physical materials we can also use standard materials if we wanted to they're much more they're quite simple but we can't use anything else it's either standard or physical for this one the Arnold renderer which we saw on that list this one's actually happy to use physical materials standard materials which are more for the scanline renderer and its own Arnold materials so that one's quite forgiving 
okay but it's a bit more complex to set up if you're new to the software I would start with ART till you get to, to understand what's going on and then move on to something more complicated like Arnold or V-Ray or Brazil or one of the many many renderers you can get okay so I'll just close the setup there and what we'll do is we'll take the first material here and if we double click it we can see a larger preview which you can resize if you're finding it too big okay and firstly let's give it a name 01 default isn't very useful so I'm just going to rename that to white okay I'm going to use one of the presets okay because I don't want this to appear like a ceramic this is what this one's actually trying to be okay so I'm going to change that to a much simpler base material a matte paint okay the strength of the color actually before I go first the material mode if we change this to advanced we can control the reflections okay now the reflections aren't really showing up here because it's a matte material it shouldn't really have any reflections okay so the base color let's change that strength to one so you type in a number and press enter I want it to be white so click the little rectangle drag the whiteness to the bottom there and OK it's implying that there's some reflections working here I'm going to switch that off they're certainly not showing up in the preview very well okay basically because the material was too rough okay and let's take the roughness to zero as well okay so we've got a very plain white material now Okay, now there's a number of ways you can assign materials to the model. Dragging straight onto an object. Now that would work if I hadn't changed my shapes filter back to all. Okay, let's try that again. Drag the material and I drop it on. Okay, now that's doable, but with a list of objects in the scene as long as we've got, it's going to be pretty difficult to track them all down okay another way is to select objects okay the default selection is a crossing window so just click and drag and select and try the drag on again and it says what do you want to go to that specific object that was under my arrow when I let go or to the selection so that's picked up more we could have done that to everything drag onto everything alternatively we can select by name click the first object in the scene hold shift and click the last object and OK and then use this icon instead assign material to selection okay I find that more dependable selecting by name and assigning to selections okay click once to deselect the objects now when I'm selecting I usually use this icon okay because if you use select and move there is a chance that you'll move something and it gets out of position and it's quite difficult to put it back unless you if you've gone too far undoing is, is not feasible okay select and rotate select and scale you know, these are a bit more dangerous okay if you're just wanting to pick objects use select object okay now that deals with the we've solidified everything and given it all a white material and we're using white so that we get the lighting correct okay if you if you can't get a model to lit properly when it's all white it's very difficult to do it when you've had assigned darker materials so we start off with this very neutral white now just behind this wall on this house is the windows okay the idea here for the architecture is that the 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 kind of the the enclosure this kind of wrap around protects the innards of the building from the very busy road outside 
So there's a lot of noise here, a lot of bustle. We want a bit of peace and quiet when we go into our house. So if I tilt this over, you can see that we have a courtyard and there's windows and small balconies and a little alcove here, all facing into this little peaceful courtyard. Okay, but we do have glass in here. So that's what we want to put in next, sort out the, the glazing here. So we'll use the next material along. Okay, we'll click on it, rename it to glass, and we'll use a preset here, but quite a different one here, glass thin geometry. Okay, doesn't look much at the moment. We can't really see through it at all. If we put a background in, it'll give us the glassy appearance that we'd expect. When you're using the ART renderer, don't expect too much from the previews on the materials. They're, they're never as good as you hope for. When you use the Arnold renderer, you notice a big difference in the quality of the previews. It's uh, not so good at doing that. Okay, now I'm not going to change any of the settings there because the, the behavior of the glass is kind of determined you know, by its preset. So you know, I could try and gr drag the glass on. Okay, it's a bit tricky further down though. I don't know if I've got glass on there or not. I don't think I have. So I'm going to select by name and look for the glass objects in the in the model. Um, do, 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 where we got? So we've got near the bottom of the list. Okay, window glass one and ground. So we've got two glass materials. May as well take them both just to be safe and assign to selection. Okay, so that's now ready to set up for lights and cameras and we'll do that in the next video. I wanted to just cover the mater general material assignment in this video.